Welcome back, all you pieces of shit. Gator the Legend, here with you as always. And today we're going to be doing a review of Dollar in the Woods. I, I didn't really want to, but I told you if you gave that fucking top comment in the last video, fucking 200 likes, I'd do it. And God damn it, with like four hours to go, you did it, you fucking pieces of shit. to burn down this house are you fucking ready are you ready i'm about to spill fucking bars like diarrhea i'm about to nuke the whole city like north korea are you ready now what we've just experienced is a preamble a preamble to what we're about to experience and what keemstar is wanting us to take away from this is that there's a lot of anger there's a lot of turmoil built up inside of him a lot of rage if you will and what, he, what he's really trying to express to us, what he's really trying to show us when you really peel back the layers, is that men can show off their calves too. Walked in the woods, found a dead dollar, found a dead dollar, walked in the woods. Okay. Found a dead dollar, found a dead dollar. I believe it was Nathaniel Hawthorne who once pondered, are men basically good or basically evil? I believe Keemstar has solved that question by his journey into the woods, out into the middle of nowhere, never knowing what might happen, what obstacles might come in your way, and to realize that the only thing that's happened to him is that he has found a dollar. And what I believe Keemstar's trying to tell us here is that we are both good and evil. Walked in the woods, yeah. found a dead dollar, found a dead dollar, walked in the woods. Okay. Found a dead dollar, found a dead dollar. And here he repeats himself multiple times. And even in the video itself, you can see him go backwards and he goes forwards. What this is showing us is that we are bound to make the same mistakes over and over again. If we don't take time to sit back and realize them and to learn from them and to grow from them. I got my Yeezys on in the woods. Nice. I got my Yeezys on, I'm feeling good. Oh. Oh. Beautifully done, Keemstar. See, what he's doing here is he's showing all of us that it doesn't matter how much money you have or how great the nice things are that you own. It, it just doesn't matter because at the end of the day, when we're in the woods, we're all the same. Click bait, click bait. This dollar, this whole shit fake. This was a trap. And now as we progress forward through the video, he calls us out on our most basic need, our need for clickbait. Not only just in our video, but in our lives. It's something that we have to do to everyone. We need them to click on us. We need them to look at us. We need them to see us and to hear our feelings and hear our thoughts and to really understand who we are as a person. Let's go! Walked in the woods. All right, all right. Found a dead dollar, found a dead dollar. Walked in the woods. Okay. Found a dead dollar, found a dead dollar. And now we go back, back to the moments of where we went forward, where we went backwards, where we were learning from our mistakes, but making more mistakes. And at first it seems as if we're moving forward through that world. But then at the very last second, you can see his feet start spinning in the sand as if our lives were down there spinning with them. At this point in the video, he has put our greed on trial by having all the money fly up into the air as he points up, as if he doesn't even care at all what happens to any of that money, whether it goes to a charity, whether it goes to help out the less fortunate, he doesn't care. And by not caring, he shows us a glimpse into our own soul. I found a dollar in the woods and I'm feeling so good. Should I share it? I guess I could. I picked it up, yes, the dollar was real. Whose dollar was it? I don't want to steal. Oh shit, someone's behind the tree. Oh, shit. I can't see because it's too leafy. Next up is just a story that we have seen time and time again. A story of someone trying to do a good thing. Someone trying to do the right thing, but then being attacked for. See, Keemstar says, you know, what should I do? Should I, should I give this dollar away? Should I, should I, you know, help someone else, maybe someone less fortunate? And immediately he is attacked by one of his biggest nemesis, Leafy himself. He swung at me, I had to duck. You ain't catching me, cause I'm fast as fuck, boy. Yeah, you know I'm fast as fuck. I'm at this point, he shows us that we need to just run from our problems. Our problems are right behind us. So why turn around and face them when we can just run from them? If we're faster than our problems, then we'll never have to deal with them. 
A real killer, you're just a bunch of cucks. Oh. I don't need weapons, yo, I'm getting paid. I'll take you out with my social blade. And now he's just bragging. He baited me, took the bait. Why am I still getting a? And now we see how blind we can be to our own selves. See, if so many people are hating us, if just thousands and millions of people are hating us, and we still aren't able to step outside of ourselves and look at ourselves and realize that possibly it's us, then we're just bound to be stuck in a loop of questioning, never knowing why, never being able to accept the truth and move on. And again we end it with another trip back to the walk into the woods. We walk into the woods, find a dead dollar, find a dead dollar, walk into the woods, find a dead dollar, find a dead dollar. See, I believe he's calling us to assemble, to come together as one, and to show the world that together, no matter what, we can overcome all obstacles. That together, no matter what, we can overcome all hate, deserving or not. In conclusion, I think we can all safely say that today, Keemstar has showed us a piece of our own soul, showed us who we could really be and what we could become. And hopefully, we have learned a lesson from him to never become that person and to never let ourselves seep to the levels that he has. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, all done here. Uh, sorry, this is a shitty fucking video, but I mean, how do you respond to that? It's, it's such, so, such a horrible video. It's such a shitty fucking video. I mean, uh, I guess the fucking filming was cool and the editing was cool or whatever, but it was just a bunch of recycled old shitty memes that he's been part of or made or whatever, but that weren't really funny to begin with in my opinion. I mean, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. I just didn't think it was very funny. And he just repeated fucking a dollar in the woods, barren, whatever the fuck, like 20 fucking times in the goddamn song. It's a two minute long song. And a minute 45 is him saying he fucking walked through the woods, found a dead dollar, or dead dollar, dead dollar. I don't know what the fuck he's saying. I have no fucking clue what he's saying. Uh, I'm, maybe he's just stuttering, da 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 dollar. I don't fucking know. You guys tell me. Uh, but yeah, sorry. Video shitty. Fucking whatever. I don't care. As always, I've been the Gator, and you've been great. Peace. I eat shit on my tacos in front of small children. I make a mess and then I throw an unusual tantrum. Why can't I only fit two dicks in my ass? Am I a meme yet? Am I a meme yet?